Hi everyone, let me first introduce myself. My name is Vishal. I'm working as a senior member technical staff at NEC. Also, I'm co-reviewing Horizon and going to be the PTL for Horizons in a release. In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of Volabi, the 23rd release of OpenStack. Today, I will show you the demo of few feature we added in Horizon during past few releases. So here is the list of feature which I'm going to show you in the demo. Multi-attach volume, allow user to change their password. Uh, refactor error messages, backup support for admin, setting password while launching an instance. So let's start with the multi-attach volume. Multi-attach volume allow a user to attach a single volume to multiple instances at the same time. In order to enable a volume can attach to multiple instances, you first need to make sure multi-attach flag set to true for the volume type using which you are going to create the volume. Let me show you in the horizon. Uh, log into your OpenStack dashboard. Uh, go to volume type. Let's create a new volume type. Name it whatever you want. I'm naming it multi attach. Go to view extra spec, create an extra spec this for volume type. You have to pass multi attach in the key and in the value you have to pass is true in the value. Now let's create a volume with this volume type. Let's name it test, select multi-attach volume from here. Let's create the volume. Now let's go to instance view. As you can see, I already have two instances here. Let's uh, attach a test volume with both these instances. Let's do the same for this instance as well. Now if you go to volume, click on test and then go to management, then you can see in this table that our test volume is attached to uh, two instance, test instance one and instance two. Uh, just for your information in Cinder, multi-attach function is available from micro version greater than or equal to 3.50 uh, and multi-attach capable volume can only be attached with the Nova API micro version uh, 2.60 or later. You can find more detail about it in the Nova and Cinder documentation. Now let's move on to our second feature which is allow user to change their password. Uh, this feature allow user to change their password when it is expired or it is required to change during the first login. We have added a new setting in horizon name allow user change expire password. Uh, by default it is set to true. So if you want to disable it you can set it to false in your uh, local setting.py file. Let me show you the same for in the horizon. Uh, first go to identity in user let's create a user name it user one uh, let's set it password one two three four abc one two three four assign it any project create user now let's log in to this user abc1234 now as you can see that it redirected me to the change password view so let's change its password set new password change let's try to log in with the new password
I think this feature is added so that any user can change its password when it is expired or during the first login. Before that, user need to request to the administrator to change their password. Uh, you also need to do some changes in your keystone.conf. Like you have to add uh, change password upon first use equal to true in, in uh, under security compliance section in your keystone.conf you can find more information about it in the keystone documentation move on to our next feature which is sender user facing messages uh, user messages are the way to inform uh, user about the state of asynchronous operation for example uh, you have created a volume and it is failed to create uh, due to some issue in cinder then these messages are requested via the messages api in horizon we have added a new tab of messages in volume and snapshot detail pages uh, where a user can see failure summary messages uh, for volume and snapshot let me show you the same in horizon so let's go to volume let's create a volume name it test one so as you can see that this volume is uh, failed to create so if you click on detail view and you can see the message why it is failed this is the user messages for it you can find the same for snapshot as well uh, let me create a snapshot first This one. So as you can see that a snapshot is failed to create. So you can see the message here like it is failed to create due to this reason. We have also added this port to admin view as well so that a administrator can see the user messages for all its rendered. So let's move on to our next feature which is refactor error messages this is a very simple blueprint but important from user point of view in this blueprint we added a hyperlink detail in the alert box uh, so when an exception occur a user can click on this uh, detail hyperlink which show you the original error messages coming from the different api like cinder and nova this will help the user to understand what happened in detail uh, let me show you the example of that go to volume type so let's try to encrypt this volume type so you can see where we are unable to create encrypt this volume type so if you click on this detail uh, hyperlink you can find the detail uh, why it is not possible and this message is coming from the cinder uh, let me show you one more example for that so let's try to detach the root volume for this instance so you can see if you click on detail hyperlink you can find the detail error messages coming from nova and the next feature is backup support for admin uh, nothing new in this blueprint we just added backup support to the admin panel so now our admin can view the backup for all tenant and perform admin specific operation like update backup state force delete backup let me show you the demo of that as you can see that you can see the backup panel in the admin view so if you if you go to the backup view in project view then you can see that if your backup is stuck in creating or error deleting state state then only 
admin can uh, do the admin specific operation like uh, force delete this volume backup and admin can also update its state let's set it to available now the last one in my list is set password for an instance while launching it uh, as clear from the name this blueprint allow a user to set password while launching it uh, so that user can SSH to instance using that password. Let me show you the example of that. Let's launch an instance. Pass it, name it anything. Pass image, flavor, network. So if you go to key pair, then you can see uh, this set admin uh, password. So if you click on this checkbox, you can set the password for your instance. Launch. And now you can SSH to your instance using this password. Uh, but this feature is added to Angular JS launch instance dialog not uh, for Django base and implementation also all the images does not uh, support key base authentication like most of the Linux distribution support key base authentication also you need to do some changes in your nova.conf for this feature like you have to add inject password equal to true and inject partition equal to minus one in your nova.conf uh, you under livert section you can find more information about it in the nova documentation uh, thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this demo video